Welcome to the era of AI. Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can basically create an infographic using the combination of ChatGPT and Canva. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So here we are in canva.com. First thing is first is go over here and click on create a design. Next thing you want to do is to basically search for the keyword infographic. Now, if you search infographic, you'll find these infographics. And of course, infographics can have different sizes. And what I want to say as well is that you can even create an, an Instagram or an Instagram reel uh, size uh, infographic, which is nine by 16 inches. But th in this case, we're going to go with 800 by 2000. Okay. So this is going to be our infographic. The reason why we went with this one is because this one can pack more information, right? So next thing here is to create the easiest infographic. Look at the templates on the left side. You have a lot of templates and I really mean a lot of templates. And so you can get any one of these templates and actually create a great infographic depending on what you want to create the infographic for. So let's go back to ChatGPT for a second and let's just say, right, give me a great title for an infographic about top five AI image generation models in 2024. And if I hit enter, notice what happens right now is it's going to give me a title. So this title is top five AI image generation models in 2024 revolutionizing visual creativity. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say, right, or uh, give me the name of the model and write a very short, very short paragraph about the model. So it, it's going to go and get started. In the meantime, I can go back to my project. I can copy this title, which is top five AI image generation models. And I can just come back to Canva and basically paste it as my title. At the same time, you can come over here and, you know, select from these particular uh, templates that you have. So basically here we have a template, which is this one, but I'm going to go ahead and just add a keyword, which is AI. And hopefully we can find out some very interesting templates. And as far as I see, you know, there are some beautiful templates out here that we can use. So I'm actually going to go ahead with this one right here. And the thing about these infographics is that they can, they can be completely edited, right? You can edit them easily, no problem. So for instance, if you don't like the background color, you can always click the background color and change it to something different, kind of like this, right? Or maybe like a gradient. Depends on what you'd like to achieve. Now, in my case, I think this color looked pretty good. I'm going to leave everything as is, but I'm definitely going to be changing the title. So the title here, I'm only going to write top five, right? And... The text which is the top five image generation models of 2024 i want to try to pack this into uh three lines max and you can see how this looks and of course i can even go as far as you know just reducing the size just a little bit now if you don't like the way the, if you don't like the effects of this particular uh, font you can go and uh, increase the intensity and maybe choose a different color or choose a different effect altogether i'm probably going to go with green i think green is good and I'm going to take AI image generation and I'm going to make it an underlying element so that uh, it can have a little bit more of a, uh, an appeal. And then I'm going to click right here on the spacing option. And on the spacing option, I'm going to space between the, uh, the, the lines. And as you can see, this is quite good. Now, right after we do this, we can proceed. So the good news is that you just copy paste. So first off here, Dolly 3 is the first model. It, it says that this, this, this one is the, the best at least according to it. I can just go ahead and type this in and I can type the paragraph about DALL-E, which is the latest uh, iteration of open AI. Da, 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 da. I agree that DALL-E 3 is great, but it's not the best. And let me be honest with you. Now, I'm going to make sure this is centered to the other side. Then I'm going to move to the other, which the other one, which is Leonardo AI Phoenix. Perfect. I think that now it's starting to make some sense because it's true that Leonardo AI Phoenix is just uh, insanely good. It's insanely good. And in the course, we dive right into it. If you want to have a master's degree in Leonardo Phoenix, this course will show you that. Now, I'm going to put the paragraph about Leonardo Phoenix, and then we can go back here, and then we have Midjourney V5, or otherwise known as Midjourney version 5. But let me tell you, 
Uh, it's far too re removed because Midjourney v5 is not the best version. It's actually v6 because it's the latest version. And so ChatGPT doesn't always give you the best responses, to be honest. Now, I'm going to go and remove v5 and make it v6. Then here, when it comes to Stable Diffusion, so we have uh, Stable Diffusion 2.0. Now, let me copy the, the, the name, Stable Diffusion 2.0. Let's place it right here. And by the way, Leonardo was actually built on top of Stable Diffusion because people couldn't use Stable Diffusion. And uh, so Leonardo, they thought, look, we're going to make a, a, pl a platform where you, you can use a Stable Diffusion to create images, but you just have to type a prompt instead of learning Stable Diffusion for six months because it's going to take you quite some time to master Stable Diffusion. Now, let me go ahead here. And uh, now this is our breeder. Well, I don't know what this one is, but I'm not sure. I never used this. I don't think that's going to be a, one of the best. Right. But let's just put it right there. We're just creating a infographic anyways. I'm going to paste this right here. And of course, as far as your website is concerned, you can put your website in there. So for instance, let's say that my website is Passive Income Gen Z. I can just go ahead over here, name it Passive Income Gen Z. And I can try to, you know, grow this a little bit you know, to fit. And of course, uh, the button, if you want, you can just make it a little bit bigger to kind of fit in. Make sure it's centered. You can also make sure it's, the text is centered as well. Uh, a little bit kind of like this. And as you can see, that's pretty good. And, uh, well, I can just scroll to the top. So now what I can do is to finalize this. I can start removing these images and adding the images or the images for the AI tools themselves. So I can start off with removing that one. Then I can go to Google. And of course, I'm not advising you to do this. If you want to get images, you need to get them copyright free. So make sure you have a membership. But since this is a logo, I'm just going to do it for educational purposes. So if I search for Dal E, there it is. If I go to images, you can see that, you know, we have a bunch of logos. This is a YouTube uh, lecture right there. This is a text that says Dal E with a, a dark background. So I just like to go ahead and copy this one right here and basically come back, control V to paste. And I have an image which I can use. And of course, I can just uh, place it somewhere like this and I can make it smaller. I can cut the extra part. I can maybe put it right there, uh, you know, just to show that this is Dal E. Then we can go and look for Leonardo. So Leonardo AI logo. And basically here, uh, let me just do it again, logo. You can see that we have some Leonardo AI logos here and you can take a, a logo. Uh, this one is licensable, which means we can actually use it. But I'm just going to use it for an infographic that I'm not going to publish anywhere. Okay. So I'm not going to run the risk. But you can see that this logo is quite good. I can, just, I can make it just a little bit bigger. We have Midjourney, so I can go ahead as well. Look for Midjourney logo right here. We have this image of Midjourney. We also have this one of Wiki, Wiki, Wiki Media Commons. These are Commons images, which I think they can be used. So I can go up here and paste the Midjourney logo. I just have to make it smaller like so. And a little bit smaller and then i can place it you know somewhere like this and as you can see that's quite good what do we have we have stable diffusion so we can search for stable diffusion 2.0 so let's go and search for you know stable diffusion 2.0 stable diffusion logo and as you can see we have some stable diffusion logos now i only want to go and uh you know grab something that represents stable diffusion for people, the people that know stable diffusion uh, so I'm going to copy this one right here, come back and paste it over here. And as you can see, there it is. It just needs a tiny, tiny resizing. And finally, I can just go here and, and look for the uh, Art Breeder Remix. And I can come over here and just uh, post it like this Art Breeder Remix. Now you can see some images and I can see why this uh, uh, Midjourney says this is good, but I don't think it's that good. But anyways, we're just going to take a regular logo to put up there. Not sure if this is the one, but we're just going to try to make this good. As you can see, there's a graphic over here, which I don't know what it is for. Let me just remove that layer from up top. Um, let's bring back this layer. I think it's a light, a layer of light. And now let's just click Control V to paste. There's my logo. And of course, here at the bottom, I think I just need to move it up a little bit. And that's much better. 
Now, let me just uh, reduce the size of this and then place it somewhere like that. And now finally, we have an infographic in a matter of you know eight minutes. We created an infographic, which is beautiful. And uh, yeah, you can go full screen. And the thing about infographics is that people can zoom on infographics. So they can just click the zoom and they can zoom. They have a zoom effect and they can read this. That's the, that's the great thing about infographics. And it's so easy to create them, especially with Canva templates. You have a lot of templates, templates for pretty much everything that you can imagine. As far as the content is concerned, you can fuel the content with AI. So what do you want best? So if you want me to create more tutorials about infographics, uh, make sure you let us know and uh, wish you the best as always. Passive Income Gen Z, signing out.